Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys just chatting. It's not a cat chats, but I'm here chatting. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. I'm just sitting in like my little hallway in my beauty room. There's like this tiny little hallway that leads to my bathroom. This is my bathroom and then this is my closet. And I just decided to sit on the floor and press record. This video is going to be really random. I'm really just going to be sitting here and talking. I have such a mess in this part of my room. Like the other side is what you guys see. Like when I do cat chats, I'm on the couch or when I'm at my vanity or when I film tutorials, I like to face my windows. So I'm sitting in front of my my computer desk but I haven't done a room tour because I have such a mess over here like I have I don't know if you can see but I have all my palettes just sitting here I have these shelves and this one is about to like fall look at this it's supposed to be like this but I have way too much weight on it really dumb decision to put floating shelves when you have such heavy makeup dumb decision but whatever I have to see what I do there I know I don't vlog anymore I have a vlog channel and I always link it below, but I kind of feel like the more I grow in subscribers, I mean, this is for everyone, obviously, but the more you grow in subscribers, the more people don't like you, as weird as that sounds. And I'm always kind of scared to put my personal life on the internet. And with a makeup channel, you're just really talking about makeup. I mean, you guys get to see my personal side when I do cat chats and stuff like that, but it's almost easier when it comes to makeup. Then I realized, you know, like I could vlog in a way where it's not so personal, you know, like if I'm out and I'm doing things with friends or anything like that, like I can vlog. So I'm starting, I think I want to start vlogging again. I'll see how that goes. I wanted to update you guys on my skin here. I've mentioned it in like a hundred videos. I know it's going to be so annoying. Just in case you don't know, kind of, I've changed my diet. I've just been eating a lot healthier. I don't eat dairy anymore at all. I don't eat fast food or anything like that. And then my skin just started freaking out ever since I made those decisions. You can't tell because my vlog camera has like a soft focusing thing, but I have, I mean, you can see it. I have breakouts all over my chest and all over my forehead and they're like traveling down to the sides of my forehead now. They're even coming down here and I don't understand what's happening. A lot of people are telling me that my skin is going through a detox. This has been happening since like the first few days in August and we are already like halfway through September. And I was Googling that your skin can do a detox when you start eating healthy, but I, it's been a while. And I was reading that a detox period usually lasts like three weeks and it's not getting better. It's kind of getting a little bit worse. I went to an allergist to see if maybe I was allergic to certain foods or nuts or seeds, but I'm not, thankfully I'm not allergic to any of those things. I also went to my doctor, my primary care doctor, and she told me that it looks like a, just a detox. She's like, honestly, I can't think anything of it. It looks like a detox. I'm going to get blood taken out in the next few days because she wants to see my blood work. And then I went to see a dermatologist and they prescribed me kind of like a topical cream. And I tried it on the other day for the first time and then I tweeted immediately. I was like, oh my gosh. This cream that the dermatologist gave me made my skin 20 times worse. And I was about to throw that cream in the garbage. It made my skin so bad. Like it made it flare up a lot. It got really, really red right here especially. And I was so frustrated, but a lot of you guys on Twitter were actually tweeting me telling me to keep using it because topical creams typically will make your skin flare up or will make it look worse before it gets better. It's kind of just like bringing everything to the surface. So I took your advice. I'm gonna continue to use it. The doctor told me since my skin is so dry that she didn't want me using it every day. So I used a different moisturizer last night. I'm gonna take your word for it that it gets worse before it gets better. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys pictures of my skin. Um, it's just something I'm dealing with right now. It's kind of strange because I never ever ever had acne or anything my entire life. So now I kind of understand like how shitty it is to be insecure about your skin. Um, especially like I love wearing tank tops like this. I usually wear like little jackets over them, but I live in tank tops. They're so comfortable and so basic. I like them. And, you know, my chest pimples are so visible. And I also think another crappy part of always having nice skin is people are not used to seeing my skin like this. So every time I see someone who I haven't seen in about a month and they see me and they're like, Oh my God, Kathleen, what happened to your face? Oh my God, Kathleen, what's wrong with your chest? Kathleen, you're breaking out all over your forehead. And it's so frustrating because it's like, I have a mirror. I know. I know. You don't have to remind me. I know. But I mean, I'm trying to fix the situation. 
if it is a detox, I don't know how long it's gonna last or what. I don't wanna go back to eating unhealthy because I feel so much better with my stomach. Mm. My stomach was really sensitive to dairy. It took me 24 years to realize that, but I haven't gotten a stomach ache in a long time and I was somebody who always got a stomach ache after eating and I didn't, I didn't understand why. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better. And if you're having like skin issues or acne problems, especially if you're young, if you are watching this and you're young and you have acne like in your teens, it'll go away, don't worry about it. It's just something we have to deal with now, but We'll stick through it, we'll push through it. Another reason why I wanted, actually the main reason I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys is because today is actually World Suicide Prevention Day, not when you're watching this, because I don't think, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna post this today. And I don't know if that's like a made up thing, kind of like National Donut Day or National Booger Day. They, I mean, everybody makes those things up, but I think it's nice that we have a day where we bring awareness to those who are going through depression or have had suicidal thoughts because depression is such a serious thing and I kind of wanted to make this video just in case you are watching this if you're a subscriber of mine and you're going through a really shitty time in your life there's nothing really I can do because I'm not there with you to hug you or to tell you it's gonna be okay but hopefully you can kind of get that feeling through this video I know sometimes life can feel really really hard a lot of the times when you watch these youtubers who have all these nice things and they go on all these trips and they look like they're having the time of their lives and you're at home depressed or sad and you just don't understand why i know it sucks but you know sometimes things are not always what they appear to be there was a time in my life where i was so so depressed i didn't even recognize myself like i couldn't believe i have i had been so depressed and nobody knew about it. No one in my life really knew how depressed I was. You just never really know. The war in someone's mind, the struggles in someone's mind, no matter what it may appear like on the outside, always keep that in mind. And if you are sad, if something is happening in your life that's making you sad, I'm so sorry. And I wish there was something I could do to fix it. But all I can do is tell you that I believe in you. You can get through this. Sometimes for me, all I needed to know was that somebody cared. And I just want to tell you, I'm that person for you. I care. And a lot of people could be watching this and like rolling their eyes like, sure you care, but I do. I care. I've been in that position. I have never had suicidal thoughts myself, but I have woken up in the past thinking like, what is the point? Like, why am I even living? What's the point? Because everything is going wrong. But there is a point. We're all here for something. We're all put on this earth for a purpose. Whether you have faith, or not, nothing in our lives is for no reason. So you're going through this hard time in your life right now for something, maybe it's to teach you something, maybe it's to teach someone else in your life something. Maybe the situation that you're in right now is to make you a stronger individual. All I can do is tell you is try to have as much positivity as you can. And it's really, really hard for me to say because sometimes when things are going bad, I can be so negative in my mind and I can just shut everybody out and be my own worst enemy. And I know how that feels and I don't want you to be the same way. So please try. I know it's so hard to be positive in such a negative situation, but the only way I feel, at least from personal experience, the only way to push through something is to believe in yourself and to be focused on getting better. You know, tell yourself, I'm going through something really bad right now, but I can push through it. Time will heal my wounds and I can push through it. I'm, a, I'm positive, I'm strong, I can do this. And even if you don't believe it in yourself, the more you tell yourself, you will believe it. So this video is also for me to tell you guys thank you. I know I say thank you all the time, but it's usually in some other video where I talk about other things, but I wanted to just sit here and tell you guys thank you. Putting myself on the internet for so many people to see has affected me a little bit in the past years. I'm always worried about what people are gonna say, what people are gonna think of me because so many people are watching me. Today is not even about that. Today is just a huge thank you for watching and thank you for commenting such nice things all the time because you guys have really really helped me even like with my skin stuff like i'll tweet about it and a lot of you guys are always giving me opinions and advice on how to fix it or what i can do or whenever i tweet that i feel bad which by the way i have a cold right now and i am i have to pre-record and i'm dreading it because i feel so bad but i gotta do it <laughs> you guys are always telling me like what kind of cold medicines work best for you guys always trying to help me fight through my cold you guys are always worried about me when i feel bad and Thank you so much, like it honestly warms my heart. Every time I get a tweet that's so kind, it makes me realize like, wow, there are good people out there in the world. There really, really are. And especially now, the world has gone to absolute shit because that's how I feel sometimes. It's nice to know that not everybody is crappy. 
And there are a lot of good people. There are more good people than there are bad people. You guys have no idea. When I first started my channel, I was still kind of saddened about certain events in my life. I made a whole video on it. Um, it was my anxiety video and how and why I have anxiety, what caused it or whatever. It's up on my channel. But in 2011, it was like the worst year of my life. My parents had gotten divorced when I was 18. And then a couple months after they got divorced, my dad got into a really bad motorcycle accident. He almost died. He ended up getting a traumatic brain injury. I went into detail. I'm sorry. If this is repetitive but if you haven't seen it he had gotten a traumatic brain injury and it kind of affected him forever after that thank god that he is okay and he's almost i would say he's back to normal he's definitely not the same man he was before the accident but he's on this earth and i'm so grateful for it but since his injury was more you know it targeted the brain it wasn't physical like he looked perfectly fine physically but he wasn't in his brain. His brain was bleeding. It was just a traumatic brain injury. His recovery was so hard for him, for me, for my uncle, for everybody that experienced that. And for such a long time, I hated life. He went through so many things and he did so many things that he would have never done. It was just his brain was so messed up and I didn't understand. It put me in such a bad mood. I really wasn't happy with myself, especially since I had so much anger towards my parents for the divorce. It affected me more than anything in my life. And I don't know if it's because I spent 18 years with them by my side. I never knew what it was like to grow up with divorced parents. Like everybody in my life actually had divorced parents. And I feel like we were like the perfect, loving, amazing family for 18 years. And then one day to, to the next, it was just like gone. It was ripped from me. I didn't take it very well. I did not take it well. Still to this day, they got divorced six years ago and I... I still don't get it like I don't I don't understand why that happened maybe I'll never understand and I don't want to cry because I'm okay with it now <laughs> I'm fine it's been six years I'm an adult I understand relationships end but I was so blindsided because they never fought they never argued so it was so strange to me but it put me in the worst depression of my life and then since right after, you know, my dad's accident happened, it was so much all at once and I didn't know how to handle it. So I really, I just want to let you know, I know what it's like to feel like the world is against you or to feel like the world is falling on top of you because that's how I felt for a really long time. And the crazy thing is, is that YouTube, watching YouTube really, really helped me. I would feel like I was suffocating throughout the day, in and out of hospitals with my father, in and out of trying to understand his, you know, his brain injury, trying to wrap my head around the whole thing. My ticket out of my mind was YouTube. And I would sit there and I would watch makeup videos. And even if it was only for 15 minutes, my mind was somewhere else for those 15 minutes. And I was so grateful for YouTube. And then when Danny pushed me to start a YouTube channel, it took my mind off so many things. You guys made me just feel even better. And the more comments I got and how sweet you guys are with your motivation and your encouraging words, you guys have made me stronger. I just want to say thank you for that. And I want, I want you guys to see my channel as an outlet also. Maybe watching a cat chats makes you feel better. Or maybe watching a makeup tutorial makes you feel better. And if that's the case, then I feel like a million dollars. You know, I feel like I did something to affect someone in a positive way. And that makes me feel better than anything ever could. You know, everybody helps each other in the comments. And it just... It makes me feel so good and sometimes when social media can seem like such a dark place I'm glad it's not always like that. I'm gonna wrap up this video here because I feel like I'll just start rambling and then I won't make any sense here soon. Maybe I haven't been making sense in this video but thank you for being the best friends anybody could ever ask for and I love you guys so much. Even though I don't personally know each and every one of you, I recognize comments I recognize names and if you're watching and you're commenting you know i feel your support and i love you for it um i appreciate it always i know everybody's afraid that the more people grow on youtube the more they will change but sometimes change is good i feel like i have changed since i started my channel i'm more positive because of you guys i will always appreciate the love from my subscribers i will never take that for granted whether or not people believe that so i love you guys so much and I hope this video helped you, even if it just helped you a little bit.